Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the background picture on your Windows Media Player 12. Um, please note this only works with Windows M Media Player 12 in Windows 7. does not work with 11. I've tried, it doesn't. Um, so I'm going to want to change the background picture of my Windows Media Player. As you can see, I've, I've already done. Um, well, you're going to need a program called Restorator. It's, you can download it for free as a trial. It's really simple. Um, so right here, Restorator 2009 or 2007. 2007 works too. I just used 2009 because I bought it. Because I used a lot and I decided I wanted to support the company that made it. Um, which you should do too. It's awesome. Anyways, you're going to go to C, Windows, System32, right there. And then the file is, is going to be WMPLOC, that's WMPLOC.dll. Um, it's right there. Now you're going to, on, on the left side here, you're going to navigate down this left side to the bottom folder labeled 2 five seven and you're going to open it like that then you're going to navigate down some more to library background seven um, which is this one here um, so as you can see I have my current picture set right there well if you want to change it simply right click on it and assign to and you assign it and let's say I want to change it to this guy here so I'm going to open that picture now sometimes it won't really work you'll see a bunch of code on the right side if that happens just pick a different picture it's no big deal um, it just means it didn't want, want to work so then you're going to go file save open the, the media player well Please make, make note that <laughs> the media player has to be closed in order for this to work. So I'm going to save as yes, I'm going to replace it. Now open the, the media player and the background has changed. It's pretty cool, pretty simple, and it's a really easy way to impress your friends. Um, now please note that the WMP or the WMPLOC.dll file, you have to take control of it before you can uh, do anything to it because it is in the System32 folder, it is protected. And I will show you how to do that here, real quick. And um, there will be in instructions for all of this right in the description as well. Um, and so, no big deal there. Um, so WMP LOC right here okay so um, you're gonna want to go open properties and you're gonna go to security um, and then you're going to click on advanced and you're gonna click on owner and then edit and then you're gonna click your name and then so let's just say I want that this guy here okay I'm gonna click that and then I would click apply and then it said it says here I don't know if you can read it or not but it says if you have just taken ownership of this object you will need to close and reopen this object's properties before you can view or change permissions you're gonna click OK OK and OK then you're going to reopen the properties and you're gonna click on security next up here you're gonna click edit and then add and then advanced and then you're gonna click find now um, and then it'll pull up a, a list here find your username and find it and then you're, you're basically gonna want to click OK and then you're gonna click OK again then you're going to find it and you you're going to allow everything apply and then click OK and close it. Now you have just taken complete control. 
of that file. Now, please note, if you are not the system administrator, it's not going to work. Um, you do have to have administrative privileges to change the file, but that's the, the way to do it. So if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. Um, otherwise, enjoy and impress your friends. All right. And...